Believe it or not, back to school is right around the corner. In fact, schools in Anderson County start in just two weeks. One of their immediate needs is school crossing guards. Our Ariana Meadows found out what it takes to become one. I am here outside North Point Elementary School in Anderson County. It's just one of a few schools that is still in need of crossing guards before the school year starts. Lynn Bradley is a crossing guard at Wren Elementary, Middle and High Schools. She says she wakes up every day to make a difference and remembers her first day on the job. And my first day was really nervous and I went home and I said, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I've been here 23 years and I love it. Bradley says the best part of her day is connecting with the kids. Her priority is to keep them safe and make sure that drivers are obeying the laws. I want to get back in my car knowing that the, the morning went great, the afternoon went great, and we can all just be, come back tomorrow. Anderson County Sheriff's Office says crossing guards play an important role and the positions need to be filled by the time the school year starts. If we don't have these, you know, openings filled relatively quickly, then we have to take school resource officers away from what they're doing and get them on the road in order to, you know, fill those positions or even deputies on our road. Sheriff's Office says hands-on training will help crossing guards learn the needed hand gestures. It's pretty light training. It's very doable, but it is, you know, a little less than one week of hands-on training. It's not just sitting in front of a, you know, projector and looking at how to be a crossing guard 101. We really get out there with our crossing guards, making sure that they feel comfortable in the roadway. Bradley says for drivers, the biggest thing is speed and being patient and aware when you're entering a school zone. I'm out here just to take care of everybody. I'm not, I'm not out here to ruin nobody's day or anything. I'm just out here to try to take care of them. I just, I just want the kids to be safe. I just want them to be safe and, and just go to school, go home and come back, be able to come back. The Anderson County Sheriff's Office says they are fully staffed at about 25 crossing guards. They're looking to hire the last four to five positions that they need. In Anderson, Ariana Meadows, 7 News. And the Anderson County Sheriff's Office says the deadline to submit an application is by the first week of August. If you're interested, head over to WSPA.com to learn out how to uh, apply.